Peter Haddock and I'm here on the A417 for my big How to Build a Road series with Mark Sabato here again from Kia. Mark, you're running the project here and we're stood in an unusual spot at the moment, dry stone wall next to us, but a huge development here behind us which is going to be where one of the main bridge structures is. Piling's going in, we've got down to road level, you can see how deep it is, how can't you? Tell me a little bit about where we are right now. So. We're at the, um, the top of the climb up from the hill, from the bottom end of the hill, from the, the M5 at, at Gloucester. We, we, we're climbing up and this behind us is the, the Gloucestershire Way crossing. It's the 38 metre wide structure, um, three metre wide footpath on it and, and the rest of it is dedicated to planting and mammal crossings. Um, lovely backdrop here, the dry stone wall starting to be formed. We've got uh, just over seven kilometres of dry stone wall and this is the first pieces that are going in now and it looks very well, it looks really good. It does and it is in keeping with the actual local environment as well. We talk about habitat, we, we've talked about ecology and archaeology on the project already and for this element you know it's good to see that local wildlife is going to find its home in the dry stone walls uh, in the future as well and we've got that divide between the, the land here and the rain structure of the road here and it's from a safety perspective as well haven't we? Absolutely and that's what it's all about and I think we've spoke before about the scheme being a landscape led scheme uh, you know and working in this in this beautiful area this area of outstanding natural beauty for generations have been habitat for, for wildlife for, for you know for, for insects for bugs and uh, even birds get in and nest in them you know and, and this is how it how it is up here the, the, this is how it's done it's a very labour intensive um, wall to build but it looks beautiful you know and this is this is in keeping with the, with the natural area yep and i think what we see also in front of us folks is we're really now crushing and screening and we talked about how the change in the levels are going to happen so we went for a gradient of 10 to a gradient of eight percent and we can now see how that's going to happen because the levels that we've gone down to in that section where the breach structures are is, is actually where the road's going to be. And that is a vast difference, isn't it, from where we were before? It is. It's, you know, it, it's hard to imagine at this stage of the incline we're going up to. But as you can see behind us, that is the, the centre pier where the crane is for the Gloucestershire Way crossing. You can just about gauge the width of the road. There's more to come out where the piling rig is working. They're nearly finished on that section. They'll be moving further down the line. But that's about finished road level where we're at. And we're climbing up rapidly behind us to the cut fill line. And then we go into fill. And likewise, on our other side, we've got to cut a lot more down and we're going to 16 metres ultimately down where the crushing plant is behind us. Yeah, and we can see that on the drone footage, folks, that we put over laying on this because, you know, th there are benches at the moment, crushing and screening. An enormous amount of material is being moved from here to the Shab Valley interchange where the fill is. But the, the levels and doing that, that's quite a complicated thing and a task to do, isn't it? Setting up all the crushing and screening areas, excavating down and then transforming that, uh, transporting that uh, across to the next level. Being done by Walters, isn't it? The nature of the ground here, the top lifts are, are quite easy to dig, meet specification. As we get deeper and deeper and deeper down to that 16 metre level, um, it becomes very big. We have what they call a block stone material in here as well, which is very hard. We've got the D8s ripping and pushing it. it the, the D8s won't touch that. They have to get the 52 machines on with the breakers to break these big sections. And it's all it, uh, little sections, um, you know, pockets of it. We don't know where it's going to be. And, and it, it, and it, it gets, gets harder and harder as we go down. But they're crushing well. They're doing a good job. I think ultimately, you know, we say 1.6 million cube, we're, we'll probably be at over 2 million cube with the crushing factor and the rehandling. Um, but we've got to do that to make it meet specification for the fill area in the Shab Valley. And it's really important when you look at this. And of course, earthworks, the nature of earthworks is we don't know what's in the earth, do we? So we have some surprises. We got ground penetrating radar on here first that, that actually found some voids that you filled in so that the trucks could safely move um, and transport the material. But now you're finding different um, slots and plots uh, for, for different types of material in there as well, aren't you? We hope as we cut down for a, a seamless uh, transition from top to bottom, <laughs> um, but we don't know, we don't know, you know, we get what they call the fissures in the rock, the big splits in the rock, you know, uh, and ultimately we, we've got to cut a tidy embankment and, and the worst thing you can do is overcut because then we've got to do remedial work to get that back to the, to get the shape. Um, it's one of those things that 
I suppose when you're traveling up at 60, 70 mile an hour, you won't see it, but <laughs> I see it. And it's, um, you know, and that's part of the process. We've got a, we've got a nice tidy embankment. Look how sometimes you'd love to be back in, in clay um, or, or, or general soils, digging a, a nice tidy one, one in three, one in two embankments, but it's a bit diff more difficult here. So folks, this is the section where we're doing the cut. That time we popped over down the road to see the fill, isn't it, Mark? But have a look at it. Cheers. Cheers.